some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in St. Cloud, Florida, with an individual who likes to call himself Just Us SS. And as you can see from the picture, this guy has come dressed for battle. I'm sure this guy must have been seeking out a conflict with the local police department because who rides around with a combat helmet in their car ready to go? At any rate, he gets what he wants, so let's sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the show. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh, scary. Yeah, you're not reaching into my mind. Do you have your driver license, or are you going to provide that for me? Yes or no? I don't answer questions. No? I don't answer questions. I can't hear you, sir. I, I don't understand. Squeal? Oh, yeah. Really good start. Calling the police officers pigs during the traffic stop. Way to go. And that's in addition to saying you're not going to answer any questions. Ugh. Typical. But wait, it's going to get better because he's going to try to reach into his center console against the orders of the cops, which is where things go downhill from there. You don't understand squeal. Yeah, cute. that's cute. I'm sorry, I just don't answer questions. Nope. Yeah, I have the right to remain silent. Good. Wow! Halloween came early. <laughs> You're not scaring me, buddy. buddy. Right, uh, Is your uh, cam on? Make sure it's on. You're gonna be... Yeah. You're gonna... Bro, you're not scaring me. Huh? I have God on my side, bro. You work for the devil. Uh, are you sure you don't have that mixed up? Sad to say, but you work for the devil. You're not scaring anyone, bro. So you're gonna blind me? You know, I suffer from an eye condition. You're not blinding me. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna reach down really quick. So don't be alarmed. Stop reaching down there. Okay, this is where you can understandably get concerned, considering if this guy does have something in there, and he's not allowing the cops to come in there and search it to make sure that it's safe, then you can understand why they had to break the glass to get in there in just a little bit. I need to find something. It's my car. Stop reaching. I'm not reaching for anything. Actually, I am reaching for a flashlight. I'm looking for... Hmm. Hey, stop knocking on my glass like that. What's wrong with you? Show some respect, asshole. It's my fucking car, asshole. Stop knocking on my car. I'm going to sue your ass individually. I'm going to take your house and everything, asshole. All of you. And I need your name and badge number. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I can't hear you. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge? Okay, so you're refusing. All right. What? I don't understand squeal. I don't understand squeal. <laughs> This guy is completely disconnected from reality. He's turning a traffic stop into a circus. Only the ending of this circus will not be so fun for him. I don't understand squeal, bro.
They're recording from all angles. <laughs> you think that light does something to me? It does nothing, bro. Nothing. Not the police written on your chest. I could give two shits. Nothing, bro. You gotta be famous! Millions of viewers! At this point, I don't think he's referring to them. I think he's talking about himself. He wants millions of views. He wants to be famous. Well, he's gonna get some measure of fame here in a few moments. You happy about that? How do you feel? When was your last psychological evaluation? When was the last time you became angry? Where was the last time you... You can't hear me. You can't. These are questions that the public needs to know. They need to know if there's someone with a sane mind and not a psychopath with an itchy finger on the streets patrolling. When was the last time you had a psychological psychological evaluation? At this point, I think you are in need of a psychological evaluation. I mean, you're wearing a combat helmet to a traffic stop. Isn't that a bit extreme? Are you on medication, psychotherapy medication, by any chance? Uh, your ego is not going to save you. Sir, I just want to explain for the record so we're all on the same page, okay? I stopped you for a lawful infraction. I've requested your driver's license. My lights are on. Proof of insurance. My lights are on. If, I'm sorry, what, what law? What law? Okay, so what's the brightness of the law? What's the bright? No, no, you need to, uh, you need to articulate. Okay. The infraction so was the case so law. Was the okay? What's the law? What's the law? Anything I can do to get you to compel you to, to provide you information so that we can move on. And move I'm not gonna without, without any further action. Look, what's the? Can but can I you? ask you a question? Is there anything else I can compel you? What? To provide look, your, those lights are super dim. I can even barely see them. Yeah, they stopped me. The hypocrisy you, is you, unbelievable. The consequences I've given you, the actions. Look, you're not going to scare me under duress. You have 20 minutes. So it's already 846. And, 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 you're and, you're and, and then you're going to get sued. And you're going to get sued. And you're going to get sued. This is simple. This is you're going to get sued. And move on. And we and we move on with our life. Okay, sure. You're, are you refusing to do that? I just need to know. Are you refusing to provide your information? Yes or no? What was your badge number again? 2250. 2250. And what's the charge? Can you uh, be specific about the charge? Can you articulate? Yes, you it's, have. It's, you need to have reasonable suspicion. Okay. Reasonable, and look, look at look at those lights. Look at look at that. And they, yet they have me pulled over. Supposedly my lights are way brighter than those. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, is there anything you, else I can do, sir, to compel you to well, you know to what? provide your information? Give, Give me a know, ticket. Last write last me the ticket. Time. Write me the ticket. Do whatever. You have my information from the tag. Write me the ticket, and I'll be on my way, and I'll fight it in court. Sir, please put your hands on the on the steering wheel for me. Put is that a lawful order? For me. Is that a lawful order? Yes, it is a lawful order, especially in the state of Florida. If an officer gives you an order, you have to obey it. And given that you've tried to reach into the console several times already, one can understand why he wants you to put your hands on the steering wheel. At this point, you can't be trusted. Oh yeah, and not to forget the fact that you're wearing a combat helmet, which probably means you are looking for trouble. So, what's about to happen is all on you. Wow, you guys are gonna look at this. Look at this. Put your hands on the steering look, wheel. Look, look, a gun pointed at me. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Look at the police brutality. Oh my God, their ego got hurt. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this cycle. Holy shit. Okay. okay. What a freaking clown. This guy had to have been looking for clout on YouTube by getting arrested. Why is it so important to get arrested? In the short term, they may think it's awesome to get arrested, but years down the line, it's going to come back to haunt them, and then they'll regret it, if they have any remorse at all.